Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com. Diesel cars are no longer these smoke-spitting clatter boxes that you might remember them as being. In fact, they've been clean for quite a few years now. The latest one is Chevrolet's popular Cruise Compact, which now gets a diesel version. We are at the Chicago Auto Show checking it out. It borrows a lot of bits from the Cruise's high-efficiency eco version, including low rolling resistance tires and better aerodynamics. But the price tag and the fuel efficiency create some complications. We'll show you why. The Cruise Diesel pairs a 2-liter turbocharged diesel 4-cylinder with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Thanks to higher compression ratios with diesel, this thing has tons of torque. Torque is what pushes you back in your seat. Arguably, it's what influences the everyday driving experience more than horsepower. There's 258 pounds-feet of torque from this engine. That's 110 pounds-feet more torque than the most torque-rich gasoline engine that the Cruise has. Still, the car won't have a whole lot of high-end zing because it's only got 148 horsepower. If you stand on it, Chevy says the cruise diesel hits 60 in about 8.6 seconds. Not exactly a drag strip time, but it matches Volkswagen's Jetta TDI, which is the cruise diesel's most direct competitor. The Chevy Cruze Eco has a gasoline engine. Uh, that hits 60 in about a half second less, Chevy says. The issues continue. Chevy says the cruise diesel gets about 42 miles per gallon in the EPA highway ratings. That's what uh, the automaker anticipates. With the diesel engine, that's only about three miles per gallon more than a Chevy Cruze Eco with the automatic. Here's another issue. Underneath the cargo floor, you don't get a big space like you do in the Cruze Eco. That's because there's a diesel emissions tank there. It actually takes away about two cubic feet of overall cargo room. We're big fans of diesel cars, but the Cruze Diesel seems like a tough proposition. 17-inch alloy wheels and leather seats are standard, but this car starts at around $26,000, including the destination charge. That's about $1,500 more than a similarly equipped Volkswagen Jetta TDI. It's about four grand more than the gasoline Chevy Cruze Eco, which gets almost as good highway mileage. Add on top of that the fact that diesel fuel costs a lot more than regular unleaded. It's been that way since the middle of 2009. We'll have to drive the cruise diesel to see how it holds up, but at first glance, it's nothing we're getting too excited over.